Hi, my name is Shaira Atika. So today I'm going to share to all of you one of the most common and obvious thing, but none of us really care about it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Well, did you know it doesn't take much for us to be a hero? Well, be a blood donor. That's it. I like to share to all of you that all of us can be a hero by just being a blood donor. We can save ourselves and everyone else around us. As a blood donor myself, I'm assuring all of you that donating blood will give you a lot more favour than otherwise. However, not all of us know the benefits and outcome of donating blood. I like to tell you then not either you should go donate blood or not, but to persuade you to go donate blood while you can. The benefit that I would like to share to all of you are including the benefit to society, the benefit to ourselves, and other important things that you should know in order to become a blood donor. And here, I will tell you why we should call ourselves a hero when we become a blood donor. So the first one is to help and treat patients in need. Patients with blood disease such as anemia, bleeding disorders such as hemophilia, blood clots, and blood cancer such as leukemia, lymphoma, and myeloma. Blood clots can cause heart attack or stroke and blood cancer such as lymphomas and leukemia, which is very fatal. We need to donate blood since countries' blood banks are always at risk of running low, which could have dire consequences on patients in critical condition. Furthermore, donated blood are not only used to treat existing disease, but also help to develop new treatment. So, this donated blood will help in medical research. Research scientists need donated blood to investigate the cause of blood-related disease and to test newly developed treatment. It is used to develop anti-clotting enzyme, platelet, blood stem cells, and myeloma. New treatment for this life-threatening condition depend on medical research, which is why our blood would be a great help in this situation. As I mentioned before, we are not only heroes to other people, but also ourselves. By donating blood, we can prevent ourselves from fatal disease such as hemochromatosis. So, hemochromatosis is basically when there is excess absorption of iron in our body. This may be inherited or may be caused by alcoholism, anemia, or other disorder. In this case, donating blood will reduce the iron overload and make sure that the donor meets the standard blood donation eligibility criteria. Other than that, donating blood will help you maintain a healthy liver and heart. Donating blood helps in maintaining the iron level and reduces the risk of various health ailments. Intake of iron-rich diet may increase the iron level in the body. However, only limited proportion can be absorbed and the excess iron gets stored in heart, liver and pancreas. Those excess iron will increase the risk of cirrhosis, liver failure, damage to the pancreas and heart abnormalities. Unfortunately, not all of us can be a blood donor because there are a few things that you should bear in mind in order to become a blood donor. So the first thing is you must be at least 17 years old to 60 years old in order to donate blood and you must be weighed 45 kg above. So if you don't meet these two criteria, you are not eligible to donate blood. Other than that, a person with acute infection, active infection and disease such as HIV, AIDS are not allowed to donate blood because obviously it will transmit to other person and it will be dangerous. Well, donating blood is basically do us a lot more favor and benefit because it can help patient in need, it will be used in a medical research, it will prevent us from getting a fatal disease such as hemochromatosis and also help us to get a healthy liver and heart. Lastly, I would like to call out to those who have yet to donate blood to take the first step to being a regular blood donor in maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Blood donors contribute in helping to save the life of patients and in turn building a healthy community. So remember everyone, it only takes 15 minutes to save one life. So that's all for me. Assalamualaikum.